Mr. Batson, Ms. Smalley worked for you as an accountant. A bookkeeper, yes. Bookkeeper. In what kind of business? I buy and sell all types of different used equipment that I purchase. How long did Ms. Smalley work for you? Uh, approximately six to seven years. Now, there came a time when she and her husband came to you for a loan. Yes. They don't deny that. When was that? Approximately late 2013, 2014. I don't have the original date. Do you remember when you came to him for the loan? February 2014. And how much money did he loan you? $1,200. Is that correct? No. How much? I loaned them two different times for a total of 2800 did you give them a check or cash? I gave them cash. And they, at some point, started to pay you back? Yes. When? October of 2014, I was given a check for $2,000, which did not go through. At that point... I'm just, do you have that check? Yes. I'd like to take a look at it. And when you say it did not go through, it was dishonored by the bank? Yes, it was returned from insufficient funds. Okay. Now, Ms. Smalley. Yes. Let's go back to you. I said, how much did you borrow? Yes. And you said $1,200. Yes, ma'am. Then you want to tell me why you wrote him a check for $2,000 and in your handwriting wrote partial payment? That was a Just loan, a prior loan to the one that we're talking about. No, it's not. Yes, it no, is. No, no, no. Yes, it is. You mean you came to Mr. Batson and asked him for money on more than one occasion? Yes, ma'am. Great. You know that I'm not buying what you're saying to me, but I'm going to let you dig your hole. You understand? Okay. Okay. When was the first time you came and asked him for money? Five or six years ago. I mean, Dan okay. would loan money all the time. Okay? If you were an employee, if you worked for Dan and you needed to borrow some money till the next payday or you needed and to borrow money... And why did you steal from him? You were convicted of stealing from him. Yes, ma'am. I, I was okay. convicted so of So if he was a nice guy, Miss Smalley, and loaned all of his employees money when they needed it, and according to you, loaned you money on successive occasions, why'd you steal from him? Actually... You were convicted of stealing from yes, him. Yes, ma'am, I was. But okay. it was... It so was, would you want to tell me why? Yes, no, I, first I asked the why. I made he, a mistake. You made two mistakes. The second one is coming here and telling me the story. No, ma'am. Because as part of your conviction, you were ordered to make restitution. Yes. Restitution is not for a loan. Criminal courts cannot order you to make restitution for a loan. Right. They can order you to make restitution for what you stole. So when the court ordered you to make restitution, which is your defense to this case, that they ordered me to make restitution, and I made restitution in the amount of $1,200, that covered the law. No, ma'am. But criminal... Well, that's what you wrote in your answer. You said in your answer that you swore to, I was ordered to pay back all the money I owed him, so I paid him $1,200. Criminal court can't order you to pay back a loan. Let's start with that. They can order you to pay back what you stole and they order you to pay back an amount certain, mm -hmm. not pay him back what I owed. They ordered you to pay him back $1,200 because that's what you stole. Actually, the amount in question on that is $658 and change. Well, not in question. The criminal court... Yes, ma'am. ...ordered you to, to pay, pay back as six... restitution what you stole in the amount of $1,200. It had nothing to do with the loan. Right. Now you're saying right. Mm -hmm. So... so how much does she owe you? $1,300. Did she make a... Just because I can't get a straight answer from her. She wouldn't know how to give a straight answer. She wouldn't know the truth if it slapped her in the face. You want to speak? <laughs> you want to speak? Yes, I do. Great. Do you owe him $1,300? No. How many times did you ask him for money? How I many times did you ask him for money? One time. One time. That's what he's here for. Not this baloney that your wife is talking about over a period of time. That's you correct. asked him. That's what this case is about. The one time the two of you came to him and asked him for money. That is correct. Good. And look at me. And you asked him for money because? We had an incident occur where we were having a house problem with a large banking institution that is under I don't care. You were having financial trouble. When we had to obtain a lawyer for this other I incident. Know, yes, so we went to him to borrow $1,200 for a lawyer fee. That's all we borrowed was $1,200. We took him to dinner and borrowed $1,200 and not a penny more. Listen to me. Just a second. So that's $1,200. Correct. On what date? Month and year. Ma'am, I can't even Mon tell you my birthday half the time. Very good. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,300. We're done. Bunch of scammers.